I'm John Hargrave, CEO of Media Shower. This is our better communication training series. In this video, we're gonna talk about action-packed content. As we've discussed, successful content campaigns have two things, consistency and persistency. It's not a word, but it rhymes. Quality and quantity. We need both. And to do that, we've created the assembly line. And what comes out of this assembly line is action-packed content. So this is not an assembly line that produces junk. This is like a high-end luxury item assembly line. This is like a Tesla factory production line. And the product is action-packed content, by which I mean content that gets people to take action. The action is the point. That is the whole point of what we're doing, is to get people to take action at the end of the content. Here's a real life example. We're at the end of the blog post. There is a graphic that says, download the ultimate guide. That's our call to action or CTA. And it can be a graphic or it can be text or hopefully both. The call to action is the point. We measure action rate. Action rate is the number of views divided by the number of actions. So if we have 100 views, we have one action, that's an action rate of what? This is that post in real life. Here's what it looks like. Here's the post and down at the bottom, here is the call to action with the text and with the graphic. And note, there's nothing else except for the footer at the end of this page. There's one thing to do. Now, common sense tells us when people have a choice of one thing, what are most people going to choose? There's no comment box at the bottom of this that nobody uses. There's no list of blog tags at the bottom of this. That no, there's no links to other related posts. All these things are distractions because what we want people to do is take action. That call to action is the point. Now, the average results across all of our Media Shower clients for action rate is about 1.5% and the average number of actions per content piece is about five. And if you look at these numbers and think, boy, that's kind of low, I agree. That's why your job is to beat these numbers, to help us increase that average by creating content that gets even more actions. That's what you're gonna learn in this series. Now we have another secret weapon in the Media Shower Toolkit, which is called expandable content. So with most sites, they click that call to action, they go off to another page, we usually call that a landing page where they fill out their information, we usually call that a lead, and they get some kind of bonus content. With our Media Shower expandable content, they do all that right in the page. So because we make it easier, they don't have to click to another page and fill out another form, we get better response. It just simply means that people are more likely to convert or give us their information to convert from a visitor into a lead, like a sales lead, because the form is right here. And here's what it looks like in real life. You'll read this article about blockchain business plans. Lots of great article, lots of great content. And at the bottom, fill out the form below for an easy to follow template for creating a business plan. So this template is a special download. It's like a piece of bonus content that they're gonna get that ties in to the article that they've just read. It's a really valuable tool. So they fill out their name right here, like so. They put in their email address. And then they click expand article. And there it is. The link to download our easy to follow blockchain business plan template. That's how expandable content works. So whether you're using expandable content or a client provided call to action, a graphic or a text link, that's what we want people to do. We track and measure obsessively this call to action. So every client has an action rate Again, that's how many views their content received divided by how many 
actions that people took on that content. We also look at the number of actions per piece. So we can figure out which pieces are driving the majority of results. In an earlier video, we talked about 20% of your content drives 80% of your results. So which 20% would we want to optimize and improve? If you said the top 20%, you're right. We want to find the star performers and help accentuate them by adding to that content and making it even better refreshing it or adding even more useful content. We improve what's working and we ignore what's not. All the rest of the stuff is not worth our time. We focus on driving more and better results. So we're gonna talk a lot more about how to create action-packed content, but first a few high-level principles. And the first one is keep them reading. As we've discussed, people don't read, they scan, they swipe. Very few people sit and take the time to dive deep into words. Now, the irony is we're in the words business. <laughs> we're a media and communication company. But the way that we lay out those words for the web matters a lot. You want to end with the call to action. So this should be the last thing on the page. And as we just saw, it also should be the last thing in a blog template. So if you are in charge of a blog or a website and you got a bunch of crap at the bottom, get rid of it. Get rid of it. So the call to action is the last thing they see. But most importantly, watch our next video where we're going to give you the specific tricks and techniques in order to create more of this action-packed content. Join us.